Hello! Today in this video we're going to plant all my vegetables among my food forest. All along the edge of my permaculture forest I'm going to plant them. So, come along with me. Come on! When I first started my permaculture forest, we had to put cardboard first and then wood chips on top. So now I have to move the wood chips back and then expose the soil. As you can see, there's no longer any cardboard because all my worms have eaten the cardboard. So as I open this hole with this little contraption, all I have is very, very rich soil, very nutrient rich soil. I do, however, add a little bit of uh, rock dust to my plants as a food base. I figure out that um, these tomatoes here, I should have separated them in the very beginning. So I slowly massage the roots and try to take all the dirt off and separate them as gently as possible. And I separate three plants out of one. I hope this works. I'm not sure, but I hope that they all survive. Now, after I have uh, planted the tomatoes as far as I can, as deep as I can. I give them very, very clean, fresh water. The first watering. The second watering, of course, I will um, feed them with fish emulsion. Also, I put a lot of seeds on my hula culture. And now I'm covering them because I'm about to water them. Here, look at these roots. My sunflowers. I'm planting the sunflowers in, in and amongst all my flower, uh, my uh, yeah, flowers and raspberries and uh, boysenberries. I open the hole, and the hole is almost exactly the same size as the solo cup. It just falls right in. I planted two of my green stripes, kusho squash on that side and two on the other side so now I got to do my peppers and more tomatoes on the edge right here I used my tires believe it or not for watermelons I removed the bark I mean the, the, the wood chips from the ground so they are and I just place those in soil. So underneath these are, they go directly into the soil. And I planted cantaloupes, melons, and watermelons all along there. Now for the second watering, like I told you, I'm doing uh, fish emulsion. This is the way I feed the plants after they've been in the ground for a little bit. I feed them again with this kind of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. All my tomatoes have plant, been planted as low as I can, just exposing the very top. And here is what it looks like now, and in a few weeks, it's gonna be nice and green, tall. So I'm gonna leave you now with this beautiful view of a lot of the flowers that are already and this perfect plant that I got from Mr. Rob. My sun chokes are coming out. Hope you liked all these flowers. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And as always, hit the bell, like, share, and subscribe.